today I thought I uh, well I need to have some uh, Today I watched a video by Charlie is so cool like about um video content and whether or not some videos are more worthwhile than others and I thought I'd do a video response uh, using my webcam and um I don't know whether or not I'll edit this video because I feel like when I make a video and it's on my webcam as opposed to my camera, which is across the room or on this camera even, um, it is less worthwhile and less good content than if I got out of my camera and properly made the video and then properly edited it. Even though the words I say in the video might be the same words, um, I feel like that uh, it's more worthwhile if I put loads of effort in and you know plan his out in advance all that sort of stuff and I do see where Charlie is coming from with his point that um, things seem more worthwhile if they took more time and more effort um, one thing I did think when I was watching his video is that uh, in the context of YouTube though not all of the videos are for content um, exactly not for you know high quality content um, because some people use YouTube as a method of communication essentially uh, like a social networking site um, they want to talk to other people uh, other people in uh, who like the same things as them or just to be able to talk to people because um, the world is going more online than offline at the moment and, and you might just be talking to people and meeting people this way and so if people do vlog type videos they might seem like um, less worthwhile content if you're on YouTube looking for high quality entertainment but if you're here looking for people to talk to then they might seem really worthwhile content because those are the content where you get to know people and um, uh, hear about how people's day were and, and you might be here because you want to hear how someone's day was and them care how your day was and have a sort of dialogue that way and so you might consider those types of videos to be the more worthwhile because you might get more interaction back and forth from those whereas if I watch a video where there's loads of editing and millions and millions of views I as the viewer uh, don't get an interaction back from that because it's unlikely that if I leave a con comment on a video with millions of views that the, the person making it will see my comment or reply to it or anything there is less likely to be a, a dialogue from it so there's I, I don't know I mean I, I don't think that um, vlogs are less worthwhile or um, even if they have a, a just meaningless sort of inane chatter type of thing to them they, they still they mean something to someone in a different way than um, than videos with high editing skills and things like that do um, which leads me to the thought that uh, there is different types of like involved in um, YouTube videos as well if you compare two videos just based on the where how many likes or dislikes they got you don't know whether someone liked that video and then later on thought about it a lot and continued to think about it and really cared about the video and loved it or if they just liked it at that moment and you know it was one of the many things they liked that day just for instantaneous like you know uh, you might have a video uh, of someone for example eating cereal and they and someone might like that because for a moment it's funny or you know for a little while it's funny to them um, or you might have a video that's got loads of editing and took loads and loads of time 
and they like it and later on that day they're still thinking about it and later on that week you know it, it, it might have meaning that they later on still you know they're liking it later on um, <laughs> my point is that you know it, it's not just going to be a black and white sort of thing I, um, I guess uh, in the past when there was the five star sort of rating system you could maybe more display than whether or not you liked one video more than another but I don't know I mean I don't if I if I said I like cake and I like my cat there's the two different types of like but they're still like you know if I hit the like button on both it, doesn't really tell you whether or not I thought more of one or the other. Uh, but no, I'm just the video is too long now, so I'm just going to stop talking. I said I was going to stop talking, but I'm not because there is another point that I would like to make, uh, which is that in Charlie Sue Coolix's video, uh, one thing that he mentioned was that a past video of his called "I'm Scared" got lots of video responses and. Um, that he could use that as a basis of knowing whether or not people like got more from it than just liking it um, you know people had views on it and this video of mine right now is a is a video response to Charlie's video uh, about whether or not videos are worthwhile but earlier on today I watched a video by the Me Fund saying that uh, in two weeks or something, YouTube is going to stop having video responses. Um, and I think that uh, just in the past sentence now I have proved that video responses are worthwhile. Um, in the past week I made a video that was a video, res well not the past week, sometime recently I made a video that was a video response and someone made a video response to my video response. Video responses are important to um, to uh, having a dialogue across several people in a in a way that is visual and uh, in a way that you can sp explain in more characters than the comment section allows you, and they are worthwhile. But in in a couple of weeks, we could stop having video responses. I hear, essentially, and that's sad. I guess.